everyone, so today's video is going to be a flip through of my first Project Life album for 2016. I really hope you enjoy it, I know I haven't been filming many scrapbook videos lately and I want to get back into it. And instead of just speeding up the footage and putting a voiceover, I thought I would actually talk you through some of the album, but other pages I probably will just flip past. So this is my first page, um, it's an, like a family opening page. I didn't live with my boyfriend when I made this page, but I was pretty sure that I would be at some point in 2016 so I decided to make it sort of like a family page it's got the two there because of the two of us and um, 2016 our next big adventure got some goals down there which I did not complete um, and this page was made mainly with the January 2016 kit from uh, like forever and the kit was called 2016 so these pages are about New Year's Eve. I always include New Year's Eve in the beginning of the next album. I know some people like to have their albums finishing with New Year's Eve, but I don't. That's how I like to start my albums. Again, this was made with the 2016 kit from Like Forever, and I decided to put all my photos in black and white because the um, they were all taken on mobile phones and the quality wasn't good, and I felt like it made the colours pop a lot more. These are the Project Life monthly dividers. I haven't written the uh, months on yet, but I've put them in the relevant places. There's going to be a 12 by 12 photo here of me and my boyfriend on New Year's Eve. I just haven't had it printed yet. And then this is the other side of that spread. I absolutely love this side. I hand stitched this little pocket and put some embarrassing photos in there of my friends. I didn't want them to be out in the album and embarrass them, but I did want them in there. So they're in this little pocket that says, uh oh. So this first page here is week one and again I made this with the 2016 kit. I made a real effort to use um, my Like Forever kits more in my Project Life this year. There's some just pictures from the first few days of 2016. This is week two again with the 2016 kit and that's entirely week two just that insert. I started the year much better than I am now which you'll see in another video. <laughs> Um, and my dad, my granddad and my uncle went to Cork in Ireland, um, my family is Irish um, and they went to Ireland to visit my granddad's sister who is very poorly, he's one of 17 children and there's only two of them left, he, uh, him and his sister and there's a picture of the two of them in this little thing here that says lift me because normally um, this part hangs over the page protector but that's a private photo so I'm not going to share that but I just wanted to talk about them going to Cork because it was so nice that they went together and they sent us loads of pictures and it was just so nice to include it then we have week three my dad turned 60 uh, we began, uh, began tiling in our house my brother was actually in Africa at this time um, and sadly I lost one of my bunnies Ted so I did a big picture of him this was made with the uh, January Gossamer Blue kit, this spread. Got a 12 by 12 picture of a beautiful sunrise over my parents' house. And then these pages were made with the February Like Forever kit. So this is week four. My dad's 60th birthday party there. This is a layout of my dad. I'm so glad that I have more of my dad in the album this year. This uh, layout was made for um, Shamel Lane's blog, if I remember I'll leave a link, to the uh, link in the description but yeah I made this layout and it was featured on Shamel's blog which is exciting. Then we have week 5, we had a little niece born, Kelsey. I didn't have many pictures for this week so it's very embellishment heavy. And then I had the opposite problem the next week because it was our um, nephew's birthday. Not this nephew, this is his little brother. I actually didn't get many pictures of the birthday boy, but this is one of my favourite spreads in the entire album. I just love it. Um, and it's the beginning of February. Again, it was made with the February Like Forever kit, as was this layout of me with our niece. And this one, uh, which was me just saying that I'm absolutely obsessed with Emma Bridgewater now and that obsession hasn't gone away since this picture I've collected a lot of Emma Bridgewater. <laughs> These are some pictures that my brother sent us from Africa when he went on a safari and that is some South African money as well. 
We've got another little photo from the birthday party of our nephew. My brother came home from Africa and those are pictures of him and his girlfriend at the airport. Got some journaling on a tag. And then we went out for dinner to celebrate my brother being back. But this was actually week six, this whole week. And the week six card is actually on the other side of the spread. I really love this spread, really love it. We have week seven um, and the little niece that was born in January, she was two weeks old and she finally got a name, she's called Kelsey um, and this was made with the February Gossamer Blue kit. I really miss my Gossamer Blue kits, maybe one day I can resubscribe again but oh, I just love them and uh, this was Valentine's Day so my boyfriend got me some flowers and we went out for dinner. This is another spread that I really like. This is a Valentine's layout made with the February Like Forever kit. And then a layout about me at work. I don't work there anymore, which you'll know if you've watched my videos for a few months. Again, that's the February Like Forever kit. As was this, which is week eight. Finally met the little baby. More about Emma Bridgewater there. Um, I met this little bunny who ended up becoming mine, which you'll see later on. Um, and we got flooring in our living room. <laughs> These layouts were made again with the February Gossamer Blue kits I think, this is week 9. I really love how my layouts came together with the Gossamer Blue kits, I really miss those kits. Um, I had a week off work, I was really struggling at work, I just needed a week off so I booked it and my mum and I went shopping and I like replaced my entire wardrobe, it was great. I think this is week 10, yeah. Replaced my entire wardrobe as I said. And then we're going into March. This is a picture of myself with Anna from Mrs. Brimbles and Daisy from My Green Cow. Two of my bestest buddies. This was made with the um, optional March Like Forever kit. The original kit had to be scrapped because the American Crafts Warehouse move just messed everything up. So we could opt in to get some goodies from Coco Vanilla Studio. So of course I opted in and I got these beautiful papers from them. This is a layout of me and Daisy and I scrap lifted that layout from Elsie, from Hey Elsie. I'll put her channel in the description, she's incredible. This layout was made with the March Like Forever goodies as well. I went to a bloggers event with uh, Daisy and we met up with Joey and uh, it was a paper chase event so there's photos there and Anna led the event, it was great. And then this is a continuation of that week, but um, it just so happened that in the album it was on opposite sides of the page. So it's made with the um, Coco Vanilla Studio goodies again, it's just on the opposite side of the page. I love these pages, they're so pretty. <laughs> again, I used the Coco Vanilla Studios uh, collection for week 11. My craft room was painted, I'm actually sat in my craft room right now. <laughs> And it was nearly Easter as well. And this is the little bunny who became mine. Week 12, we got some new ducks. <laughs> we got three new ducks. Uh, there's more Emma Bridgewater there. And um, we went to visit the little bunny that I was getting and I got my first dresser. Week 13, and the 03 was good because it was March. Um, Ruby had a haircut. This was all from Gossamer Blue, all of this stuff. I think actually, no, I'm lying to you. This was from a Felicity Jane kit, but some of the cards were from Gossamer Blue. I met Ruth from Kawaii Studios. We went to the Typo Blogger event together. She's one of my buddies too now. <laughs> and these are from the Typo Blogger event as well. So as you can see, I'm quite like fluid in my albums. I really don't mind if the same weeks aren't next to each other in a spread, as long as it's all documented. But it was sort of at this point that I started documenting everything in minute detail and it led to me getting really behind and I will talk about that later. <laughs> so yeah, these are from the Typo Blogger event as well and then this last little one is Easter. And I've got some more Easter stuff after these layouts. So this is a 6x12 layout using a Felicity Jane kit about the Typo event, the five of us, Daisy, Anna, Joey, me and Ruth. I've got some photos from the event just stacked up on the back there. This is a little Easter bag that my mum gave to me and I've punched it and made it into a pocket and it has my London tube map in it and everything from when I went to the Typo event and it's got my train tickets and all that. 
These photos were taken over Easter weekend, uh, just really blue skies, flowers in my parents' garden, my dog got stung by a bee. <laughs> um, these are my parents' other two dogs, Bramble and Tilly, and then uh, just a cute picture of Nala and Albie, two of my bunnies. So then, uh, this is just after the Easter weekend, my friends were home from university, a lot of them stayed on to do master's degrees and I didn't, um, so a lot of them were home from uni so we met up and went out for drinks and that just says my favourite peeps. Um, Felicity Jane kit arrived, I had a burger at Five Guys and it was the only burger I've enjoyed for the past like 10 years, it was actually really good. And then I have more photos from Easter, so I have Hop Hop Hop, a little picture of. Um, Nala and Albie again, all my Easter presents, I couldn't believe how many Easter eggs and Easter gifts I got, I was 21 years old, I wasn't expecting Easter presents at all, but loads of my family still got me some Easter stuff, um, that one says Happy Easter, these are from Gossamer Blue, um, and then I'm having a little fry up, and having a cup of tea out of my chick mug from Emma Bridgewater, and we bought my dresser home, and put it in the kitchen at my boyfriend's house, which was exciting. So now we're going into April. I got my little bunny. He's called Bear. Hopefully you'll see him in weekly vlogs soon when the rabbits move here. Uh, the 1st of April was my brother's 19th birthday and I shared this old picture of us on Instagram. It's one of my favourites. I think it just sort of... Um, it just sort of shows really clearly what our relationship was like when we were little. I was always helping him and he was always trusting me to help him and I just, I don't know, I just love that photo. On the same day, it was my little pickle bunny's second birthday, so I've got a photo of him. I used these um, calendar cards every single month in my album for 2016, and they were from a crepe paper, a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I just cut them apart. Um, at the beginning of April, we went to pick my uh, boyfriend's sister up from the airport, and I got a Starbucks, and they spelt my name Chloe. <laughs> C-L-O-H-E and I was just like right okay so I stuck this sticker on it that says break the rules because they broke the rules of spelling with that um, and then I got a Peter Rabbit mug from Emma Bridgewater got some little photos of my What's It bunny here and um, I painted my dresser all by myself and it turned out amazing so I put a picture in there this is week 15 have more pictures of What's It um, more Emma Bridgewater stuff, um, I met up with my friends, I put some of the funny photos there and we went out for drinks and I've got that squad goals card from Gossamer Blue uh, gorgeous flowers in my parents garden Will and I made our first roast dinner in the house, I wasn't living here at that point but I made our first roast dinner um, and then I loaded up my dresser with all my Emma Bridgewater stuff which I can't believe how empty the dresser was then, it is absolutely crammed with stuff now. <laughs> but yeah, I moved all my kitchen stuff over to Will's house. This is one of my favourite photos from the night out um, on this page, it's just me and two of my friends and I made a 6x12 layout. Uh, this layout was done with the April 2016 Like Forever kit which was called Little Things and it was made up of My Mind's Eye on Trend 2. So this is a layout about a baby squirrel. Um, at the beginning of April my brother found a baby squirrel and uh, we basically hand reared it and I'll tell you now because the story doesn't have a good ending. Um, he grew up and he was really healthy and um, he really was thriving and it was at the point where we needed to decide what we were going to do with him because in the UK it's illegal to release squirrels back into the wild after you've um, had them in captivity. Uh, so we were going to keep him, we were going to apply for a licence to keep him and then suddenly he just died and it was really sad, my brother was heartbroken um, and I haven't actually looked at these pages since then but you get to see some of his development in these pages. Um, so this was Neville, the squirrel, um, and I've got lots of pictures of him growing up. Um, we hand reared him, like I said, we fed him every hour. I actually, my brother did all the nights and then I did the majority of the days because I was off work. I was signed off work sick. So, yeah, I looked after him a lot of the time as well and so I was really gutted when he died too. Um, but here's loads of pictures of him when he opened his eyes. I bought an Emma Bridgewater squirrel mug just to take photos of him. But yeah, this is when his eyes opened. This is week 16, there's him in the little squirrel mug. 
we had some nice weather. I got my first personalised Emma Bridgewater mug. This was done with the Felic uh, Gossamer Blue April kit and the Felicity Jane March kit. This was all done with Felicity Jane. Uh, this is week 17. More pictures of Neville. He was just so sweet. Um, my brother and I did a face swap and we looked exactly the same as we did before we swapped because we, we look so alike. But me and my mum, it was hideous. And me and my other brother, it was just hideous. <laughs> and then this was the Cambridge Mini Planner Con, which was organised by Mrs Brimbles. Absolutely love this spread. I made it with the, um, like I said, Felicity Jane kit and also the April Brimbles box. I think it was my first design team product uh, project for Anna. And then we're back to the April Like Forever kit. Uh, this is when I quit my job. I handed in my notice officially. It was week 18. I took this selfie in the car and sent it to my mum because I was so happy that I'd quit. Uh, There's little Neville. Lots of pictures of little Neville. Uh, we went to Costco straight after I quit my job and we were all very happy. Um, got some macaroons. And then this is a last little update page of Neville. Um, as you can see, he was like super big by this point. But um, he lived for another sort of two months after this. Um, and he got really big, like fully grown. And he moved outside and everything into um, our shed. We adapted the shed for him to live in until we decided what we were going to do with him and yeah sadly he did pass away but at this point he was just so healthy and he was leaping through the air he was just so cool but again this was the um april like forever kit and then this last page all the photos are stuck down and it's of a paper chase project craft blogger event that i went to with ruth from kawaii studios um, and I haven't actually embellished this page. The album was getting really fat and the, the photos were really colourful. The cards were really colourful. So I just thought, Do you know what, I'll leave it. Um, and by this point, I was kind of sick of working with this kit. So I thought I'll just leave it. Um, and then I have one last little insert with some photos of Neville and myself. And then just um, a little card from Geraldine on the back, if you know who, Ger who Geraldine is. And I have a little card from her and some notes on what she wrote to me in the card. It was just really lovely. So yeah, that is 2016 part one. And I got up to week 18. Was it week 18? Yeah. Um, and that took me to the end of April. So embarrassingly, I haven't actually done much more since then. Um... I moved in with my boyfriend and we got a puppy and everything just kind of fizzled out but I recently went through and printed all of my photos for um, the remaining weeks that I'm behind and they're all trimmed up and put into pocket pages and ready to go so as soon as I've done something with those I will let you know and I'll show it to you and I'm hoping to do some project life process videos as well so yeah. That is my album. Please let me know what you think below and I will see you next time. Bye.